Hey everyone! So as some of you have probably noticed, the latest Minecraft 1.2 update has actually broken the pre-release of my Minecart Rapid Transit Station version 4, the one I showed in my previous video. The update uh, particularly broke the dispenser that was used in that station, so to fix this I've designed a new and improved horizontal minecart dispenser that does work in Minecraft 1.2, and I'll be showing it to you right now. So here it is. You can see each of the carts are in their own little slots, just like before. In a call a cart, I just need to go over here to my green button, and on pushing this button, all of the carts automatically move up one slot. Now the key to fixing this dispenser uh, lies in these RS nor latches. Uh, here the RS nor latches are represented by these blue wool blocks. And by moving them down one block, the redstone torch that you see right here is now right next to the powered rail underneath each cart. As a comparison, I've got my old version of the dispenser over here, and in the, in the old version the redstone torch was actually uh, one block higher. And before Minecraft 1.2 hit, uh, if this torch was lit, it would, it would actually power the uh, powered rail down here. But unfortunately, we're not in Minecraft 1.2 anymore, so as you, if I call a cart now, the front cart will move, but as soon as it hits this detector rail to uh, ultimately trigger the, the next cart to move, uh, you'll see the torch is lit, but of course the a powered rail is no longer lit, and because of that, all the carts behind are not moving anymore. So one more thing I'll mention is that the old dispenser was about seven blocks wide, as you can see there, uh, but in a new dispenser I've managed to whittle this down to six, so it's actually smaller than the old dispenser. Uh, this was mainly uh, done bec thanks to the moving the RS Norlite down one block, I was able to optimize the space a bit more. Uh, one last thing I will also mention is a little bit, little improvement uh, that r my good friend Ren Walls, a fellow dispenser designer, suggested to me, and that is to put in some propagation signals in between each of the RS neural latches. So you can see some of that uh, in on the sides here, and what that does is has two advantages. One of which is makes the propagation time much faster for the carts. So you can see that they move almost instantaneously. How this works is when I hit this button here, the signal actually goes to all of the RS nor latches almost at the same time, and that in turn makes all the carts in the dispenser move almost at the same time as well. Uh, another, The second advantage of this is also that, like in Grenwell's dispenser, if I remove a cart, this dispenser will now repair any gaps that are in the uh, dispensers. So I've removed that cart, and if I hit the call cart button again, you'll see that all the carts behind that gap will now move to fill that gap, which is pretty good. So I managed to do this for almost all the slots in the dispenser except for the last one, which over here. And there's a reason for this. Um, the loading mechanism, as you can see here, just before you enter this dispenser, there's a switch, and this contr again controls, um, uh, basically controls how what, what kind of carts can get going to the dispenser. It makes basically prevents you from fast loading and putting double carts in. So if I were to, I can get down here and load up the dispenser here. You'll see that switch moves so so that only one cart goes in at a time. It's almost full here. All right, so and once the dispenser is completely full, the, the the switch will permanently switch over to the overflow, so that no further carts can get in. But uh, because th this is a, this last slot is not part of the propagation signals, so if I remove this cart and then call a cart once more, you'll see that the whoops, I don't want to go into the carts there. Uh, you'll see that the switch is now still stuck because this switch is controlled by this purple RS nor latch, and this RS nor latch becomes set when the uh, a cart enters the slot, which is represented by this detector rail here, and becomes the RS nor latch becomes unset when it, a cart leaves the slot, which would happen when the cart well, rolls over this detector rail here. So because no we remove that cart, uh, the no cart actually rolled over that rail, so of course the switch is now stuck in this position. 
to fix this, you can just go move it, put it, just put a card manually there, and it'll repair itself. Now, the, this is not a big deal, uh, in my opinion, so I'm not sh entirely sure how to fix it. If you have any ideas, uh, please feel free to let me know. But um, my the more important thing I want to preserve is the cart overflows, just to make sure that no uh, double carts or any ex excess carts, uh, just making sure all the excess carts make sure they go in, uh, out and not into the dis dispenser. So, um, that is pretty much what I only want to show you. Uh, I do want to thank all of the viewers and people who have uh, sent me their dispenser fixes and ideas. Uh, they did help me uh, figure out the best way of uh, fixing this dispenser. Uh, so, kudos to that. And uh, I will make a message about uh, what, I'm, what I'll be doing for the MRT. Uh, the next version will be called the MRT version 4.1. Uh, this is to, just to make it distinct from the pre-release version 4.0. I'll be redesigning the station all from the ground up, including this dispenser, as well as a redesign of the arrival bays as, and also the walking areas, as I've heard also some uh, concerns from v viewers about the aesthetics, and there could be some improvements in that area as well. So um, yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.